We're excited to welcome you to the interview phase of the Princeton in Africa Fellowship application process. The review panel enjoyed looking over your application and learning more about your commitment to the development and advancement of Africa. Upon application material and interview assessments, the Princeton in Africa review panel will select applicants for the candidate pool and commence the placement process. We understand the placement process can be puzzling, as it is a quite in-depth and customized experience. This video, along with the fellowship application infographic and the fellowship interviewee information handout, details the components of the placement process timeline. It will map out the candidate experience from the interview phase to placement in the fellowship field. After the completion of the interview phase, Princeton and Africa staff will send an email notifying applicants who have been selected to move forward into the candidate pool. Applicants who are not selected to move forward to the next phase will also receive an email notification. In this phase, we work diligently to determine which candidate profiles would most likely align with the needs of each fellowship organization. From February to late May, we carefully assess each organization and its fellowship post on a one-by-one -one basis as we determine compatible candidates. Since this process is based on each organization, placements will occur over a span of several months and candidates should anticipate waiting in the candidate pool. Because placements occur on a rolling basis, some candidates will be contacted later than others. Keep in mind that the date a candidate is contacted is no indication of the quality of the candidate. It's important to note that we have a small staff and our placement process will take several months, but we believe thorough review allows for the best match between our organizations and candidates. Staff will also be traveling during March to facilitate the fellows retreat, so the process may slow down during that time. Once we have determined candidates who are a good fit for an organization, we will reach out and ask them to review the fellowship reports and consider if they wish to be put forward to an organization. Candidates can only be put forward to one organization at a time. If the candidate is interested in the fellowship post, we will then send their profile over to the organization, along with a handful of other candidates for review. At this point, each candidate should begin the decision-making process of whether they would officially accept an offer for this fellowship post, should they be selected. The fellowship organization reviews and interviews the small candidate pool, and they have a two-week window to complete assessments. Interviews typically take place over the phone or Skype during the two-week window. At the completion of the assessments, the organization will notify us of their decision. Candidates that are not selected will be notified by Princeton in Africa and placed back into the candidate pool to have the opportunity to be considered for additional fellowship placements. It is important to note that not all candidates are guaranteed a placement and not all candidates will be put forward to an organization or multiple organizations. Once Princeton in Africa has received the organization's decision, the selected candidate will receive an email with a fellowship offer from Princeton in Africa. The offer will include an outline of the stipend and benefits of the fellowship and the contact information of the organization's current fellow. The candidate will have three days to review the fellowship offer and make their final decision. If the candidate accepts, they officially become a Princeton in Africa Fellow and must withdraw candidacy from other opportunities. If the candidate declines, he or she can return to the candidate pool. However, we want all candidates to be fully on board and serious about the post before being sent forward to an organization. Once a candidate has been selected for the fellowship, they must immediately begin preparing their paperwork and medical release form. All items are to be submitted two weeks after the formal acceptance. In addition, all fellows will participate in a mandatory pre-departure orientation that will prepare them for their 12-month fellowship. Fellowship start dates are determined between the fellow and the organization. Fellows can start any time after orientation up until the first Monday of September. We look forward to working with a new class of talented and passionate fellows. During this year of service, our fellows make meaningful changes and create transformative connections that last a lifetime. Afterwards, they join our growing alumni network of leaders committed to Africa's advancement. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and for your interest in Princeton and Africa Fellowship. If you have any questions regarding the material covered in this video, please email piaffapp 
at princetonandafrica.org, and a staff member will be available to help.